Hi, it's Andrew here from Dr. Drip, and um, what I want to talk to you guys about today is a blocked kitchen sink. Now, we had a client of ours in Dromoyne, um, in the inner west of Sydney, and um, they were having problems with their kitchen sink. Now, as you can see, the photo here is outside, and you can see the old existing pipework and all the tree roots and so forth around the pipes. But what I'll do is I'll start talking about inside. The customer gave us a call and mentioned that their kitchen sink was gurgling and running very slow. So we, we realised that there was obviously an issue there and we knew that normally um, there's, there's problems with food scraps etc in the waste pipe which is directly below the sink in the cupboard below. So we looked at re removing that and removed and had a look and everything was running fine from there. So we knew that there was a blockage further downstream. After quite a bit of investigation work we realised that there was a problem with blockage of tree roots further downstream and we, we um, went outside and we removed some paving and we excavated down and we can find the old um, earthenware pipes as you can see there. So what we looked at doing was replacing those pipes and we're doing some more excavation work there and here we are. So we've actually replaced that section. So there was obviously issues with tree roots um, in that section. Now, as you can see, we've installed at the very top of the at the top of the photo there. That's actually going to be a four-inch gully, and you'll see that we'll put a four-inch gully lid on top of that. Um, the pipe just below that is the inspection opening. Now, you meant, I mentioned earlier that we needed to raise the inspection opening um, because the other one hadn't been raised. And to the left is where the kitchen sink line comes into the main line. So what we've done as you can see we've done a very neat job there we've replaced our pipe work um, we've obviously filled that in with blue metal and we've um, fixed the problem area now we've also raised the inspection opening as you can see um, to above ground level and also the gully to above ground level ready for the pavers you can see we've stacked our pavers up nicely on the right hand side but just to go to that inspection opening which is the disc lid the white lid it's got three screws in so if we have any problems um, in that area again well we won't have problems in that exact area um, but further down the line um, we can actually gain access with the electrical or the high pressure drain cleaner by going down that cleaning eye now at this point in time we wouldn't leave it up as high as that but we, we need a paver or a landscaper to come in compress the dirt that's already there um, maybe put some road base and some sand down and to re-level the pavers and, and obviously fix the job up um, the job is obviously complete from our side as the plumbing section um, you can see there's a gully there that um, that doesn't look like it's been charged so they've got a hose tapper directly above that and the, the landscapers will come in um, put the sand down and obviously level it up hose it off cut the inspection opening to level with the ground and the gully does need to be raised so that you don't have a problem with stormwater going into the sewer um, that's it from us from our property in Dremoyne on the inner west of Sydney and obviously we're looking at um, block kitchen sinks and different ways we can fix them